the Champion T425 versus the Comfort Colors 1717. Which t-shirt is better? Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you're brand new here, I wanna say hey, what's up and welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for being a subscriber. If you don't know me, my name's Kerry. I'm the founder of Shirt School, and I created this channel to bring you the best strategy, secrets, and hacks to grow your online t-shirt, apparel, or print-on-demand business. Today, we're doing another t-shirt showdown, and this time, it's the Champion T425 versus the Comfort Colors 1717. Now, why did I pick these two tees. Well, as we're looking at print on demand, as we're looking at different kind of unisex t-shirts, uh, a little bit more on the higher end, I think these are two that you might come across that you might consider against each other. And actually, as I ordered them, I found out that they were very different. And so I wanna talk about some of the differences between them, talk about the pricing, talk about the fit, the feel, the color, all those kind of things. If you're considering using one of these t-shirts in your online business, I want you to have all the information and kind of know what to expect if it's a good product or not, if it's a right fit for you. And so that's the purpose of this video. Let's start off with the Champion short sleeve t-shirt T425. I'm on SS Active where and I just wanna run over some of the specs of this t-shirt and just kind of give you a basic rundown. So you'll see the colors that are available here. Pretty good selection of colors. I would say most of the colors are pretty common. Champion is an old brand, it's a trusted brand, and I think it's really known for quality. You feel like you're getting a really nice t-shirt uh, when you order a Champion t-shirt. Here's some of the specs. Six ounce, 100% cotton. You see that the ash is 99.1. Light steel is 90.10, a cotton polyester blend, which will be a little bit uh, softer. You see charcoal heather 60.40. So those are the very basic specs. Instead of going through the actual measurements, I'll actually tell you after putting on these t-shirts what I thought of the actual fit. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Moving over to the Comfort Colors Garment Dyed Heavyweight T-shirt 1717, you see here the different colors. Now, there are two really big things that are going to separate these two, you know, as far as Comfort Colors versus Champion. Uh, and we'll talk about like who owns them and all the history here in just a moment. But the two big things that you'll notice that I wanna talk about in this video is that number one, all of the comfort colors are garment dyed, and that's kind of their claim to fame. Now, basically what that means is that garment dyeing is where they dye the fabric after it is cut and sewn. So they actually make the t-shirt and then dye it, and that actually makes the t-shirt softer, more vintage, uh, and it kind of gives it that vintage broke in feel. And that's what Comfort Colors is really known for is it feels like a vintage t-shirt that maybe you've owned for a number of years and has been washed and that kind of thing. And that comes from the garment dyeing process that happens after the t-shirt is actually made into a t-shirt or the fabric is made into a t-shirt. Traditionally on most standard t-shirts, they're actually gonna dye the fabric before they cut it into a t-shirt. That's kind of the standard process. And so again, Comfort Colors has become become known for that you know, process, doing that process. So that's number one, which is gonna be different between the two, and we'll talk more about that. The second thing is gonna be the colors. You're gonna see here on SS Active Wear that they have a bigger selection of colors than the Champion T-shirt, but they're not gonna be your standard colors. They're gonna have some like white and black and maybe some grays, those kind of things, but you're gonna see even like the blues and the reds are going to be these you know different colors, these maybe a little more vintage or maybe more soft colors. Uh, and this just gives it this very unique feel it's, and it be, makes it a very unique product uh, overall. And even the common colors like navy, they're going to have this kind of old school vintage broken feel, which I think is really cool. If you look at the actual specs here, 6.1 ounce, 100% ring spun cotton. Again, it's garment dyed. It's got a re, kind of a relaxed fit, we'll, which we'll talk more about. Uh, and you see the rest of the, the specs there, but that kind of gives you a basic breakdown of that Comfort Colors tee. Next, let's talk about where they're made. So if we look on the tag here on the Comfort Colors tee, it is made in Honduras, and the Champion tee is actually made in the Dominican Republic. So that is, they're made in different places. Are you currently running an online apparel business and you need more sales? Or are you thinking about starting up a new online apparel business? If so, I wanna invite you to go watch our free Shirt School Masterclass over at shirtschool.com. It's 100% free, it'll last about an hour and 15 minutes, and I'll break down our Shirt School system that has helped thousands of people from around the globe start, grow, and scale 
profitable online apparel businesses. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, just head over to shirtschool.com or use the link in the description to watch completely free. Next, let's talk about pricing. I bought these two from SS Active Wear, you know, a wholesale website, and I wanna first tell you what those prices were. I ordered these a few months back before recording this, so these may not be the current prices, but as far as the Comfort Colors tee, I ordered a black large, and it was $5.99, and as far as the Champion tee, it was $4.60, and it's also a black large. So the prices are, you know, there was a, a, a dollar and 40 cent price difference there with the comfort colors being just a little bit more. And I think with that garment dyeing process and kind of that vintage feel, it definitely deserves that price increase, I would say. But between these two, they're both fairly expensive wholesale tees. When you compare both of these tees to something like, you know, a stand, more standard tee like a Bella Canvas 3001, Next Level 3600, a Gildan Soft Style, these are both gonna come in multiple dollars more expensive than those t-shirts. And so you should be expecting to get a much higher quality tee from these than you would get from a more standard tee. Now, is that the case? I'll definitely give you my opinion, but that's kind of what you should be expecting for that premium price. Now, if we take a quick look at print on demand, I wanted to show you these two t-shirts are actually available on Awkward Styles print on demand, which has been one of my favorite print on demands lately to talk about and review. Had very good experience with them. And so I wanted to compare them here on their website. The Unisex Champion t-shirt, which is this T425, is $16.25. And on their pro plan, it's $13.25. So this is definitely a more premium t. And when you just look at price and you, you look at the price, you say, oh man, that's a pretty you know expensive or premium tee. You see the different colors that are available here. Not as many colors as you'll find in wholesale, but it does have you know the mostly the standard colors. Now, if we go over to the comfort colors tee, it's actually quite a bit less expensive, quite a bit you know more inexpensive than the champion tee. It's coming in at $13.60 or on the pro plan $12.55. So it's less expensive in bo you know, both the free plan or the pro plan, but there are only two colors available. So you're only gonna get the black or the white. You're really not gonna get all the awesome colors that you get when you order at wholesale. So that's something to be aware of. But if we just look at the pricing with print on demand, the comfort colors is coming in quite a bit cheaper. Whereas with wholesale, the comfort colors is costing more than the champion. So I think that's really interesting. On one hand, the comfort colors is costing a lot more than the champion. On the other hand, which is print on demand, it's actually less expensive when we look at a company like Awkward Styles. Next, let's talk about the fit of these two tees. Now, they're both gonna be a little bit more relaxed of a fit, and that's another reason I wanted to compare these two tees, is that they're very similar in the way they fit. And I put on these t-shirts right before this video and just to kind of feel them. And I would say the Comfort Colors is a little bit more relaxed, a little bit looser, just a little bit longer. It just feels a little bit more comfortable. The Champion is just not quite as big. And these are both black, large, you know, large size tees, which is the size I wear. The Champion was just a little bit smaller, still very relaxed, not a tight fitting t-shirt. You know, the, the sleeves are not like, they don't hug your arm. Both of these are pretty relaxed. So they're very similar fits, but I'll say the comfort colors with just a little bit longer and just a little bit more baggy, but it's very minimal. How about the softness? Which one is softer? And as I feel these two tees, the comfort colors is definitely a lot softer. And this is one thing I found pretty interesting. Champion as being known as really a premium brand, I was really expecting this t-shirt to be, I would say a little bit more softer, just a little bit more premium feeling. But honestly, this t-shirt is very kind of sandpaper and pretty tough feeling. It's definitely a thick tee. I think it's gonna hold up. You know, it's gonna be a quality t-shirt that's not gonna shrink a lot. It's gonna hold up. But it definitely is not soft. It's not comfortable. It doesn't feel very good on your body. Now, you, you do see a standard with Champion tees. It's gonna have the Champion Embroider logo there, which is a nice touch. Uh, but overall, as far as the softness goes, I was really disappointed with the Champion t-shirt and the not softness of it. It's really pretty rough tee. On the other hand, when we talk about the softness of the, the Comfort Colors tee, it is, it does feel vintage. It feels, you know, broken in. I wouldn't say it's the softest t-shirt in the world, but I don't think that's what they're going for. It is soft enough to be very comfortable on your body. It feel, it just, it's a good tee to wear. It just feels nice. Um, and it does feel like a t-shirt that you've owned for multiple years. Neither one of these tees are really going to, you know, shrink a lot. I think they're both gonna, I've, I've owned both of these tees personally and worn them and they, they, 
both will not shrink a lot. So I don't think you're gonna have to worry about that. You're not gonna have to worry about them holding up in the wash, all that kind of stuff. But as far as just the softness, the feel, um, this Comfort Colors definitely feels more like a broken in, just like that favorite tee, fits really nicely. It's it's pretty soft. It's not the softest tee, but it's definitely pretty soft. And so that's what you can kind of expect from both of those. <laughs> Lastly, I just wanna talk about the color difference. Now, the Comfort Colors right here is the garment dyed product. And the the Champion is the standard, you know, dyeing process where they dye it, uh, dye the fabric before they make it into a t-shirt. And hopefully you can see on camera that there is a noticeable difference here. The Comfort Colors is a softer color. It's definitely, it, it looks more vintage like we've talked about, whereas this is just kind of a deep black, standard black. And so that's what you're gonna see if you were to order different colors of these t-shirts or really any t-shirts and compare them to the Comfort Colors, you're gonna see that the Comfort Colors looks more vintage, broken in, old school, softer colors. Um, and you're just gonna see that across the line. So what would be my recommendation if you're looking at either one of these t-shirts? Well, I'll be honest with you that I'm a little bit disappointed with the Champion t-shirt. I don't really see a situation where you would pick the Champion t-shirt over the Comfort Colors t-shirt unless you just love Champion and you just really want to pay for that brand. Because I think Champion really has that you know, reputation for being this tried and true trusted brand. And so I think if you just want the Champion name, that might be a reason to go with the Champion t-shirt. But I think that the Comfort Colors is a much better option. If you look at the pricing on print on demand, if you're using on print on demand, the Comfort Colors is a better option. If you look at the pricing on uh, wholesale, yes, the Champion is a little bit cheaper, but I think the Comfort Colors for everything it offers is worth that little bit more money. The Comfort Colors is softer. I think the fit is better. I like the color better. And I'm personally a fan of the vintage broken in, you know, old school feeling t-shirt. So overall, if I were you, I would go with the Comfort Colors 1717. I think it's a really solid t-shirt that you and your customers will love uh, if you're selling it in your store. And really the only situation I would see going with that Champion is if you just love the Champion brand and you just want, you just really want that branding on there, maybe go with it. But overall, I don't think it's a really good t-shirt. I don't really like the t-shirt. Thank you so much for watching today. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and also consider subscribing to the channel. Hit the bell icon if you'd like to get notified when new videos release. With that being said, I'll see you next week.